Soil is the outermost unconsolidated superficial layer of the Earth's crust subjected to physical and chemical changes and which contains both biotic and abiotic components in different proportions. It is usually differentiated into horizons of minerals and organic constituents of variable depths. In brief, soil can be defined as that region on the Earth's surface where geology and biology meet. Pedology is the study of soil. Soil pH is a measure of the acidity or alkalinity of a soil. pH of a good soil should be more or less neutral, that is pH 7. A soil sample with pH less than 7 is considered acidic soil and is usually due to the presence of hydrogen and aluminum. Basic or alkaline soil has a pH above 7. Such soils usually contain magnesium and calcium. Soil pH is important because it influences several soil factors affecting plant growth such as soil bacteria, nutrient leaching, nutrient availability, toxic elements, and soil structure. Soil bacterial activity is greatly affected by pH because bacteria operate best in the pH range of 5.5 to 7. Plant nutrients leach out of soils at a pH of below 5 much more rapidly than from soils with values between 5 and 7.5. Plant nutrients are generally most available to plants in the pH range of 5.5 to 6.5. Aluminum may become toxic to plant growth in soils with a pH of below 5. The structure of the soil, especially of clay, is affected by pH. In the optimum pH range of 5.5 to 7, Clay soils are granular and are easily worked, whereas if the soil pH is extremely acidic or extremely alkaline, clay tends to become sticky and hard to cultivate. The pH of soil is not a direct indication of fertility though, but it does affect the availability of fertilizer nutrients. A soil may contain adequate nutrients, yet growth may be limited by a very unfavorable pH, which renders the nutrients unavailable to the plants. On the other hand, a soil that is virtually devoid of nutrients may have a favorable pH for optimum plant growth. Based on the pH range, a soil sample can be classified into the following. Soil pH is usually determined with the help of pH test papers or universal pH indicator solutions. In this video, we'll determine the pH of five different samples of soil collected from five different locations. To perform this test, we'll need the following. 5 soil samples previously air or oven dried and powdered. All large pieces of stone and plant debris should also be removed from the samples. 5 spatulas or spoons. 5 beakers of 100 mil capacities. 5 stirring rods. 10 large test tubes of 25 by 150 mm dimensions. Test tube stand. 5 graduated droppers or 10 ml pipettes. 5 funnels. 5 filter paper circles. A 50 or 100 mil graduated cylinder, pH paper or universal indicator solution or both. You can also use a digital pH meter, distilled water, glass plate or a large petri dish for drying the pH papers. Weighing scale. To begin the test, weigh 10 grams of each of the soil samples in the 5 beakers using the weighing scale. Now add 50 ml each of distilled water into the 5 beakers. Stir the contents of the beakers for 2-3 to three minutes using 5 different stirring rods. Allow the contents of the beaker to settle down for about an hour. Decant the supernatant from each beaker into 5 test tubes and then carefully filter the contents of these test tubes into a second set of 5 appropriately labeled test tubes using the funnels containing the filter paper cones as shown here.
Now dip five strips of pH papers into each of the test tubes. Place the pH paper strips on a glass plate or petri dish and allow the strips to air dry. Label the strips appropriately. Meanwhile, using five different droppers or pipettes, take 10 ml of the filtrate from each of the test tubes and transfer them into another set of five clean and dry appropriately labeled test tubes. Add five drops of universal indicator solution to each of the five test tubes. Gently swirl the test tubes to allow uniform mixing of the indicator with the filtrate. Now match the colors obtained with the pH color chart printed on the label of the indicator bottle. Also match the colors obtained in the air dried pH paper strips with the pH color chart provided on the pH paper booklet. Note down the pH values of the five samples and record your observations. From the pH values obtained from the five soil samples, we can see that soil sample 1 is weakly acidic to neutral. Sample 2, 3 and 5 can be considered slightly alkaline, while sample 4 has a neutral pH. So this is how a soil pH determination test is performed. Make sure to watch my other water and soil related experiment videos as well by clicking on the end screen cards shown on the screen right now or the various links given in the description below. Thanks for watching.